Hello again, this is Jim, your product expert with Sump Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your enjoyment and pleasure and education. Um, today we're going to talk about a weep hole. What the heck is a weep hole? Um, what is it there for? What's it doing? Why do we drill it? And why do we put it in there? Why do we see it? All that good stuff. So in short, a weep pole is there to, to give any trapped air between the pump discharge and the check valve a place to escape, thus preventing air lock. Uh, air lock happens when you get maybe a, a huge deluge of water getting into that pit and that pump starts up and it's sucking that pump, that water in through the pump and it gets air trapped in with that. And that air gets into your discharge pipe between the discharge port and the check valve. Um, if you get that air sucked in there and you've got nowhere for that air to escape via a weep hole, um, that air will just be trapped in there. Um, that pump will be running and running and humming and humming and pumping, but nothing's coming out of the end of that discharge pipe. So it's not going to see any water pumping out of there. Um, that could be disastrous, obviously. So that can cause that, uh, that uh, water level in that pump to rise up and just flood all over the place. So um, you'll hear the pump coming and humming and pumping, but nothing's pumping out. Um, Chances are it's airlock. So in order to alleviate that, you drill that hole in there. And I usually suggest an eighth or three sixteenths inch drill bit. Uh, drill about a few inches above where it uh, screws into the pump. So if you look in the bottom picture here, about that area. Um, but I suggest drilling it at a 45 degree angle um, so that the hole is pointing down toward the bottom corner, bottom of the basin. Um, that will help eliminate some sound sometimes. It'll ensure that you're not spraying sideways or upwards and spraying water out of the pit. Um, when the pump is running and you've got water spilling out, you'll see in this picture here on the right, um, and it will spit water out, that's totally normal. Um, but that'll give that air, if that, get, if that air gets trapped in there between those the, the pump and the, the check valve, a place for that air to escape. So if it happens, it may just be being a little bit of water out at the end, but eventually that air will escape and they'll start pumping and it'll be good to go. So you won't have any problem with it. So that's basically what that is. I mean, I've got a, a little piece of a check valve here too. And to give you an idea where that hole is drilled over here. Uh, this one is straight, but again, I suggest the 45 degree angle pointing down. Um, simple thing to do. It can create, uh, if you don't do it, it can create a lot of headaches for you. Um, you know, again, I've, heard of people that never heard of it. I've heard from plumbers that have been in business 25, 30 years, never heard of what a weep hole is. People that haven't drilled it, they're usually lucky if they haven't had a problem. But again, it's more of a preventive measure to do. So you should do this in sump and sewage applications. Uh, when you do your, your annual maintenance on your pumps and stuff, that might be something to check, make sure that's not getting clogged up too. Um, so that if it does, you know, then you're back to square one. You have that problem um, where you got nowhere for that air to escape. Now, your pumps, a lot of times your sump and sewage pumps will have um, a hole in the side of the, on the side of the uh, base of the pump. That's to prevent airlock within the pump. Um, but again, you want to drill this as a preventive measure to prevent the airlock between the pump and the check valve. So... Hopefully that explains that a little bit better for you. If you have any other questions or any uh, um, suggestions for future Q&A videos, give me a call, shoot me an email. Uh, check out our website, sumppumpsdirect.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Until next time, have a great day. Take care.